Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda with your truly loads in the demand. We are in our new outpost. We have. This looks pretty nice. I prefer the freeze your ass off look to. Alternative. Is this what I think it is? <gasps> it is what I think it is! Armor! Hyper Garden. What is the Hyper Garden? So that's. Is that like. Like. Mm, becoming a literal tank? I just want to see exactly what bonus is. Yeah, this is just health and stuff like that. And melee damage. While N7 is where we get the max shields and biotic power. And they sort of want biotic power, to be honest. So let's do that. Let's start putting together our N7 outfit. So I suspect we might not be able to get the whole thing going. Uh, this is the helmet. Or let's see what gives me the most bonuses. Uh, looks like every other piece is the same. So let's do arms first. And yeah. I can't go to level 3 with this because we are out of Milky Way research data. Which, honestly, kind of surprising. And we can lube up our armor. If you want to. We can lube if you want to. We can, uh, what? Alright, so we're looking for torso modes, to be honest. One enemy killed, restore 25% shields. That sounds fun. Oh, I already know how to make use this one. 25% chance to recover 10% of health when shields are broken. Sure. And power boost. When health is 30% or less, plus 25% power status effect duration. Then we can use that as well. I don't know actually how many augmentation slots uh, we are provided. Uh, with... Uh, the N7 chest. Three slots. Alright, in that case, shield accelerator. Absolutely. Uh, shield accelerator, midi shell regulator, or biotic damage booster. Yeah. But apparently, some of the things I crafted, I'm not getting access to. I'm gonna take that one. And craft. The N7 Armor 3 is completely fine as a name. And let's go back. And I want to do some arms as well. We're gonna make those N7 arms, despite the fact that they are not the best I could get. And I can't get any more augmentations right now, but that's fine. Alright, cool. Uh, there's a Tinker Magic around that I can use. Ooh. That I can use to. Uh, let's just check if there's anything to scan. That I can use to uh, replace my equipment. So I will do that in just a moment. What did the drill techs have to dig? They're already 30 meters deep. No temperature change. This damn ice ball. Hi. You are Ryan. Finder. Welcome to Scenic Vault. Hope you're enjoying the view. To the east, ice. To the west, more ice. At least you're not in cryo anymore, right? Look around. This is cryo. But I'll endure this frozen hell if it means completing my research. What are you researching? I'm studying ways we can harness geothermal activity as a source of energy. Believe it or not, Below Vold's surface is a maze of heated geothermal vents. Keeps the planet from becoming completely inhospitable. 
But just barely. And you can use it as a power source. That's the hope. I hear the Angara are doing something similar, but it won't let me get close. So I'm determined to find the solution on my own. Thanks for pushing me into the wall. I'm good for now. Don't freeze to death out there. Who, wa who was it? Who did that? Was it you? Mr. Turian, sir? Eh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Push me around if you need to. Just don't clip into my camera because I don't want to see the inside of your eyeballs. Funky enough. Or oddly enough. Or weirdly enough. There are many causes for not wanting to see the inside of someone's eyeballs, I'm sure. Alright, let's check that loadout. So, what I did. As you'll notice, I made myself a N7 armor free. And I can put fusion mode of shielding in here. Not the best idea. Let's not do that. And no, I didn't make a helmet. I made arms. So let's equip that as well. Confirm loadout. Cool. I'm starting to look like a real soldier. And apparently my vertex are now more effective. We don't we have turrets, do we? The temperature so they can't scan, Pathfinder. obviously. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Like, why would I be able to scan Life our local stuff? I will probably not have enjoyed going down there right now. But I'm more than interested in seeing exactly what's here. Ooh, this looks nice and warm. Hi. Hey, 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 hey. Wanna grab this couch and make out? I'm guessing no, not yet. Cool. Maybe I got them. No, I'm moving too quickly. I have not had a chance to talk to her again on the ship, which is where romance happens. You can't just expect every couch to be romance applicable. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. And we are allowed to steal their vanquish. And their own Michel. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do with all this on Michel. What do you mean below normal? Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. This whole planet is below... It's not really all below normal now, is it? Okay, we're supposed to go inside here, I think. Because it certainly sounds like it, doesn't it? This crate contains a prototype for a handheld ice drill. Cool. So they're developing a portable drilling method. Smart. Let's take a look. LNR possible ID not found. Sample sites to a single radius. Well, we'll blah, 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 to the site and take enough samples for her to test the device with nav point. Cool. Sam, you get anything from this mess? Analyzing. It seems most of their data comes from a single nav point. Updating now. Let's hope there's something left of them to find. Don't be pessimistic. Of course there is. There's not a lot here that consumes every piece of flesh. Like the stone dude, probably it's ice. It's only ice. I want to get on the roof. Come on. There you go. Hi. I am here to explore your upstairs. Coming inside like human Milky Way housing just feels really weird on this planet because you come from the cold Night air. Is it night time? Is that why it feels weird? Is there a day and night cycle? Probably. I mean, it was released in 2017 and it's an open world game and that's sort of what... Open world designers love to do, is day and night cycles. In a game that I couldn't, you could do a lot with a day and night cycle. People love day and night cycles. Oh, 
All right, so where we're wanted. Oh, this we need to press a receiver on board, so people can uh, love this local music. Apparently, I'm not finished there. That's surprising to me. There's still another ore to scan over there, and another thing to scan over there, but I think I might have to... Oh yes, and there's still the option to confront... His, what's his name? Apparently you can... Vroom, uh, recruit him into the thing, the resistance. As part of the quest line. Well, not the quest line, but as a potential solution to the issue at hand. That's glitching out a little. That's fine. Oh, right. The marker downstairs shows. Come here. This is where you can go. You can use this to go to EOS, where you can get the cursor out of your bloody screen because it just doesn't seem to do that normally. Which you don't like. That's just t sort of messes with the immersion, you know. Not even the immersion, it's more just like... Uh, I can see past it, but when I'm editing, and probably when you're watching, it's very clearly in the middle of the screen. And that's just, you know... That's just not nice, that's just not proper. You know, that's, that's the sort of thing you would want to get your fighting trousers about. To be honest. I was like, what the fuck is that light? But then I remembered. Pillars exist. Good evening, sir. That's it. I want to scan you. I say that. Okay, everyone now has the legal duty not to die. This is apparently a bossy monster. Did I scan it or not? I did. Excellent. Well, that just happened. Of course, that's gonna end up with, like, some sort of lag fest. I'm just gonna hit escape and let the game fall the fuck down again. I still don't understand why this happens. I'm just experiencing no frames per second right now. Like, the last frame I got was when there were still three frames per second. Alright, well, the game claims to work again. Well, boss monster, what do you have? Just... Just fluid. Sucks. I'm sure there's some sort of a... Something useful about it. That's one receiver place. People here should get the latest from the Nexus now. Okay, that... That's... That's a lot more than I expected. Top scientists have a few answers. It's a dark energy anomaly known as the scourge. Cool. Uh, well, I'm just gonna leave it on here. I'm sure it won't run out of batteries or anything. 
Okay, I'm gonna jump by that place since we're on this side of the hill. Then we're going over there. Then we're going back to the Trail of Hope because we wanted to meet the resistance. So that's... Cut the cursor! That's what we'll do. Curse the cursor! The cursor! He said the cursor. Let's just ram the wall. You're an assembler. Ouch. You exploded. Oh, I also didn't realize just how low I was on the whole ammo after that uh, last combat. With an ancient. Hello, Chosen. Oh, you're my friend. Level 19. If it weren't for the fact that we don't really have a lot of uh, Milky Way stuff right now, uh, I would vote that we. I think the other things. Should I? Yes, I should just uh, put everything again into barriers. Because apparently I only got five points, is that right? Oh right, the six points I must have... Uh, must have planned for. And then immediately forgotten that I had planned for it. And that's how I roll. Well, not immediately forgotten, it took me entire two weeks to forget. That I had plans. That's a nice bridge. Get on the bridge. Where there's cat, there's trouble. We have to deal with this. Look at that party lightning. I think that's where we were previously fighting. For party lightning. Hello, I am here to find the get on the bridge. Are you the get on the bridge? Does it look like the get on the bridge? I need a higher level sword. Also, oh right. Excellent, I opened the console again. How do I close the console again? Because this isn't working right now for me. I can only shoot. I can't move and I can't... Yeah. Because I have the console open and I can't close it for some reason. There we go. And now we have the cursor in the middle of the screen. <sighs> of course. I'm sorry, but apparently that really got my temper there for a moment. Probably because I was hoping to win that battle, not to be killed by a keystroke. And I don't expect to be able to rebind that, can I? Yeah, there was absolutely no leads in that regard. Or if there were, uh, there were none that I was able to read, because I may be a bit dumb on these things. On occasion. Quite often, maybe. Stop being alive. Thank you. Look at this device here. They were carrying explosives, and this looks like some kind of cat detonator. What were they doing? I don't like the sound of that. I want to search the area. It seems to me like they were trying to blow up this bridge. And I want to look into this quest. Because I see no bloody reason for the cursor to be in the middle of the screen and no bloody reason to blow up this bridge. Like if you can stop that, I'd say let's do it. That's one. Those cat definitely planned to destroy the bridge. They were probably waiting to hit resistance or traveling civilians. Easy. Or to just make life living hell. 
that is also something that you do, I think. I think that's just a bomb right there, isn't it? Can I scan it? Yeah. I just stepped right on it. Luckily for us, this looks pretty stable. One more down. So, it would have been fun to just step on a bomb and blow ourselves up. Because that's, that's just uh, life, isn't it? Just walk onto a bomb and blow yourself to smithereens. Yeah. Apparently we could just have accidentally pressed the console key and fucked ourselves over forever and ever and ever. Like big dinguses. I think that's all of them. Thank you, Ryder. That will make travel through this area much safer. Good to know. Good to know. Because we also want to travel through this area because we are now sort of allied. Plus, you know, we might want to go like new new and to visit world. Take them some ice. So they can deliver well actually we already have our own ice runners, but like yeah, let's just trust uh, uh, what's her face. I did not at all remember her name. That's just how things go. Also, I forgot to check uh, what I could develop for uh, the room room. Because the room room also needs advancements. Are we traveling over the hill right now? So if I were to No, I misread the map. This doesn't give me the chance to do anything, does it? Or does it? Oops. I set myself on the wrong setting. I don't think I'm meant to go up here. I say as I go up here. There we go. Is this where, the, where the marker is? Pretty much. Cursor! Cursor. Right, so I just want to mark this. For what we're looking. An undocumented mineral has been detected, Pathfinder. This one? We have done it. This we've been looking for this mineral forever. And now we have it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. When we go down for a moment, say hi. Recruit someone for, to the resistance and then we go back to the resistance camp originally. Talk to whoever resistance contacts we have. I'm doing a lot of hand motions right now that you can't see. And then uh, we will go ahead and strike the ice cave. And end the ice age. Well, actually, no, we won't end the ice age by doing that. I think for that we need to... But if we end the ice... Then we'll lose the potential for ice running, don't we? Hmm. This... Our whole plan for this planet is not sustainable. No, not at all. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.